I mean, it's, it's for me, I feel it's kind of, <clears throat> right, it's kind of selfish. I say selfish because having a large family, five kids and a wife, and I feel my family sacrifices a lot. I'm a difficult person. Uh, I'm different. Uh, you can ask my wife. You know, I can do you no know, regular job, but uh, I love this one and definitely couldn't have peace of mind out there to do what I do without uh, strong family support. There it is. Yes, a lot of grass. Could be hot and fast. CDF command two, don't in. A grass fire has erupted in the foothills of the San Bernardino Mountains, 37 miles from Palm Springs. With temperatures soaring past 110 degrees, moderate wind, and humidity levels hovering around zero, the potential for this to become a major fire is high. All units responding to the Apple incident over reports of multiple stars in the area. Touching tactical paws got together and deemed that uh, the engine wasn't being used up on the road. It was just sitting there. So I hiked back and figured we'd uh, put it to a better use up here. In Riverside County, fire rages into the Apple Tree Lane neighborhood. The firefighters' new strategy, stop burning embers from igniting other homes. These poles are forced. We hang poles up here. So if we got anything significant, we can deploy quickly. Fire's kind of skirting around. It most likely will probably start making its way back this way. So I make sure we have all available resources uh, available. We got one house that's fully involved along with a bunch of vehicles that are in here, one being a boat. What we're hearing right now is a very large propane tank. It is venting itself, which it's meant to do, so it's doing its job right now. Apple Air Tax Fans, can you advise an updated estimate of the total acres burn? Uh, looking at 150 acres plus, still with immediate structure threats throughout the fire. Potential for uh, 1,500 acres. With resources spread thin, residents join firefighters in a last ditch effort to save their homes. Did I just sent a picture to Jennifer. I was like, hey, is this <laughs> I got a call from my wife. She thought their parents were gonna lose their house, so I came over here and started some spraying. Uh, you know the owners of these two houses? Yeah, there? they're actually, Tracy's family knows everyone on the street. One of her, they called her grandma. She lived two houses up. I know her house is gone, so they kind of bummed it up, man. I'll be here until they make me leave. I didn't know I got uh, I went to school with his wife. So I actually, I live local here. Uh, her parents own this place. As far as the property loss and the monetary damage, I'm my, my biggest critic, always. I've constantly run through scenarios in my head, how I can be better, or how I can even prepare myself mentally for off the wall types of things. Like I drive around with my son, you know, he just throws scenarios at him. Yeah. Update on the fire, 350 acres. The upper two fires just combined. Uh, we're looking at a uh, extended major fire. In just a matter of hours, the three small fires have merged creating one major fire. This fire creates its own weather, so if this generates enough heat, it could actually shift in the opposite direction and start blowing into the city of Beaumont and Bandon. We don't want it to get there, so we wanted to stop it here. With the potential of the Apple fire shifting, firefighters must battle it on two fronts. One thing I've learned after all these years of experience as a firefighter, especially in these last six to 10 years, is that these fires will burn anything in its path from structures or even human life and cause mayhem anywhere it goes. This fire is moving way too fast to stop it in its tracks. The best we can do is stop these homes from burning.
The safety of myself and my crew is always number one. I'm gonna do everything I can, but it gets to the point to where I feel that uh, my guys or myself are gonna be in any imminent danger. <laughs> Ain't gonna do it. We had to use the garden hose. We didn't have any water, so we had to use both garden hose to do a hose lay down. Water's always an issue as well. We have other Type 1 engines already up here, but not every house gets an engine. We didn't even see this house back here with all the smoke. We came up around the hose lay around this yeah, one. Uh, we're able to get a hose lay through that uh, fence right the, there uh, to stop it from getting the back side of here. Are you guys going to try and put that out over there? No. We don't have the resources. Okay, I've got about five. We do is just save the ones that we can. Are you up toward the top? Or? Um, the front's already moved over there, so at this point, it's pretty much like structure triage. So, unfortunately, we couldn't do anything for that one. We were able to save the neighbor's house. In structure triage, the goal is to make sure the fire doesn't spread to other homes. But in the face of an overwhelming fire, they have a long way to go before final containment is achieved. That's it. That's all you got. You can train every day and think of every possible scenario, and nothing's ever going to go as planned. It's, it's real tough. There's only so much you can do with what you have on hand. On the Apple Fire, we're fortunate enough to have Hemet Ryan Air Attack Base just a few miles away. They can get the air attack, two tankers up in the helicopter with them be over the fire within eight minutes. Apple air attack for us, two VLAT, four LAT, two type three tankers. We have a LAT coming in, which stands for large air tanker, and some of these have the capacity to drop 4,000 gallons of fire retardant. That's a VLAT, stands for very large air tanker, and that's a DC-10 and that could hold up to 10,000 gallons of fire retardant. Fire retardant has water and a fertilizer base with a slurry, and we're trying to control it the best we can, but if the fire burns intense in that area, it'll blow through that retardant like it wasn't even there. The fire is it's heading clear the bench, and there are structures up there. 30 minutes, and it's going to be there. 